Here's a Precision 5858 that I did a rebuild for. To do this rebuild, it needed wheels, so we had to upgrade it. So we used a 60-1 compressor wheel, which is 59 millimeter by 76 millimeter. For the turbine wheel, it's kind of hard to get the 58 millimeter turbine. So we went with a 62-62 turbine, which is 62.35 by, by 71 millimeter. This turbo is good for around 600 horsepower. As far as the 5858, we can rebuild them, but it's kind of hard to get that shaft. That's the reason why we went with this turbine wheel, because the 6262 turbine is a lot more common. It's also called a T350 turbine, if uh, you're talking in Garrett terms. Because of the tip height of the 60-1 compressor wheel being so, so tall, it's limited on what you can upgrade it from on the 60-1 once you've already converted it. We had a couple options that we talked about with this guy, which was like a 35R or GTX 35A2R. You may be able to go to like the GTX 35R from the 60-1, but I'm not really 100% sure. So it's a good idea to know what you want to convert it to and what your goals are before you choose a compressor wheel because you may not be able to upgrade it from that point. When buying a precision turbo, it's a really good idea to keep in mind parts availability to be able to rebuild it. You may not think about buying, needing to rebuild it once you buy the turbo, but you never know what can happen. Sometimes an oil feed line could be stopped up or it could just break. So just keep that in mind. So with this turbo, I had to change out the compressor and the turbine which costs extra money to be able to do it, but it's still cheaper to have us do it than to send it back to Precision to have them sell you a whole new cartridge. If your Precision 5858 just needs a rebuild and you want to buy the rebuild kit, I will go ahead and link to the rebuild kit that we use for this turbo. If you're interested in some turbo upgrade options that we have as far as converting it over to ball bearing, you can always contact us at turbolabamerica.gmail.com.